I'm gonna do a little uh, preview video here. Hey guys, we're gonna do a little uh, PSA submission preview video here. Um, I got some uh, ungraded cards I'm gonna send in. I got a bunch of Beckett's, um, Beckett vintage grading cards and I'm gonna break out and I'm gonna show you, kind of tell you what, uh, what I think they're gonna be. Um, here's some of the good ones, some older submissions from PSA that, or some older Beckett submissions uh, back in the day. The early Beckett was really hard on grading so you can usually cross over pretty well and, and get the same grade. Uh, so we'll do some new stuff here too. Um, we'll start with this, um, uh, it's a Eloy Jimenez um, from the Topps Chrome. I paid for a set break. Um, I think it was, I don't know, 50 boxes or something. And I got this, and this is out of 25. So obviously you want the, uh, 10 on this gorgeous card I think he's gonna he's gonna be a good player so we'll go ahead and send that in <clears throat> this was out of the uh, same set break uh, I can't remember what guy did it Hawks breaks maybe this is the uh, Michael Kopech number to 50 so, he was injured last year at the Tommy John Hopefully he'll be ready to go this year. This was a nice, I bought this out of a, this is the update, Topps Chrome update. Peter Alonzo rookie debut. Number two on 199. Um, I'm looking for tens on these. Um, rookie of the year for the Mets. Um, Jose, Jose Altuve. First year. And this is a high number. 461. I'm going to give a 10 on this, obviously. And I have a uh, box I might break online. Uh, this Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, 64. This is a beauty. I paid quite a bit for this. I paid almost a hundred dollars, I think, and it uh, did not disappoint. Uh, anything lower than a seven here, I think this got eight potential. Uh, great centering, color, edges, corners are just. There's no reason why this can't get at least a seven, and I paid for it to be a seven. So, and I need this for my set, and I'll have that graded. Um, I do have this Whitey Ford um, graded. Um, this was nice. I got a pretty pretty good deal, so hopefully it'll uh, come back a seven. But, uh, it's a nice card. 1960 Whitey Ford. Cut out of that out of uh, Rockledge. They're out of Florida, and uh, usually when his stuff is mint, it's near mint. So I usually, whatever they say, I usually up it a bit. I've had some of their stuff graded, and it usually comes back a little bit better. I don't know if this, no, this is a local card store out of Portland that I go to often. I've started my 57 set, and I'm going to start uh, buying graded cards, and Picking up stuff that looks really good. Um, I should get a seven. Centered well, corners, corners, edges look good. I just got this back from Rockledge as well. Um, I do not have this graded. Jim Palmer rookie card, 66. Hopefully a seven. Um, my last graded, if you watch my last video, it, I got hammered pretty good. I, there's some really nice cards that should have been sevens. And I'll have this Hoyt Wilhelm, sub Bowman, 54. 
I don't have any graded Bowman 54s. I just haven't got around to collecting it yet. But I like this card. Hall of Famer. Um, all these submissions will be uh, free uh, with my subscription to the PSA membership. So, uh, 71 Hank Aaron. I'm going to break out. I looked over these pretty good. Um, really don't want to send anything in that's really got a potential to go lower. So this should get a seven. I don't know if you can see the corners, but they're, they're pretty dang free. And this one is uh, centered well. So we'll bust that out today. A bunch of 71s here. Um, I'm gonna bust. 75, 71. Good color, good centering. A little low C, but not too bad. And for a 7. Um, a 67. Hank Aaron. It's pretty sherry. Green on the back can be chipped often, but this looks good. Centered well. No reason that shouldn't get a seven. A uh, run of 61s here. Had this for a long time. Had the Billy Williams also. And I'm not going to send it in. It, it's a seven, but. It doesn't look like it's going to be a PSA 7, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. It's a little OC on the back, but the front's really nice. There is a Clemente. Bust this out. A little bit of print print marks up there. Uh, hopefully they won't knock me for those. It's got a printing line down the side too, so we'll hope for the best. Willie Mays, same thing here. A little print print mark up there. A lot of these Beckett vintage grading stuff, I, I've got for good prices, so uh, the stuff just doesn't sell. I have stuff that I'm trying to sell, and it's taking forever, and you just got to lower the prices or take best offers on them. I've had this card, um, excuse me, um, I've had this card for a long time. And you can see by the number, this is a pretty early I think this was right after they stopped doing the subgrades. But uh, the front of this is just pops real nice. No reason that shouldn't get a seven. Um, okay, here's the big dogs. Um, I've had this card for uh, 30 years. Um, it has a nice eye peel, so this even has the subgrades on the back. Um, the surface, you can't see it. Um, it is on the back, but there's a crease. It goes along the bottom here. Um, you cannot see that crease on the front, which is nice. And this, this is, uh, this case is pretty banged up for, uh, just having it for so long. And I got this when I graduated from college. My dad gave it to me as a graduation present. And, uh. One of my more sentimental cards. The house is burning down. This is probably the card I'm taking. Um, Willie Mays, 54. Um, 
I'm hoping that mantle comes back a 30. Um, I'm hoping this comes back a 4. Uh, this is an early, uh, not quite as early, but it's an earlier grade. It's a nice card. It's it's not too banged up. So, 4, maybe a 5. And then the last one here, 53 tops, Sansel Page. These last three my dad's given me throughout the years. Christmas present, birthday present. Um, so hopefully this will get a three or a four on it. It's not too banged up. One quarter down here is pretty, pretty mashed, but the centering and the surface are solid. So that's it. I'm going to crack these out and uh, get them off to PSA in the morning. So uh, I'm going to do another video here pretty soon of uh, the case I have. And I want to show you guys. It's a Berg uh, circular case that uh, house a lot of my vintage cards in. So hopefully get these back in two months or less. Thanks for watching, guys.